this fellow has been around for a very long time as an activist. Uh, he's the, the former operator of the Holy Smoke. Uh, he's been in court so many times on our behalf and fighting for us. And I wanted to come and uh, him to come and have a few words with you. He's here today, Brian Carlisle. Come on up, please. Hi, Brian. Welcome. Happy Cannabis Day. You coming up here? You could stand down there. Apparently, you can't. Apparently, you can't. All right, stand tall and tell us your story. I actually am a little prepared for today. Hello, my fellow brothers and sisters. I am a medical cannabis revolutionary. And I prepared a few words today in the honor of some of our greatest revolutionaries. Of course, I wanted to speak on the floor in honor and spirit, of course, Fred, Fred Hamp Hampton. And of course, well, hang on, got to do my indigenous duties today in honor of the most important reason we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Well, I don't need this then. Right on. All right, so have a little bit of stuff prepared. I hope you guys are ready. I got some words for you. I am an activist, an advocate, an afflicted. Many of you here today and across this continent are my brothers and sisters in this struggle. I use the word struggle. Because we do not have time on our lives for a movement. If I might quote Brother Malcolm, his words, and he said these words that I also truly believe that our struggle, that there is no more time for any of us to sit on the fence. Does anybody say it? Amen. Thank you. I want to make sure you're out there. Are you my cannabis revolutionary brothers and sisters? Yeah. That's what I want to hear because we need a revolution. What's going on is completely erroneous. I'm going to read why I think so. The reason is we need to hail the call. I don't know if you remember the French Revolution, but the call was to the barricades. Where are the barricades? Well, I think Patty Haytu's office is a barricade. I think Justin Trudeau's office and his home is a barricade. Right? Thank you. Who agrees with me? Thank you. Terminally and chronically disabled cannabis rights and lives are in danger at the moment. Hundreds, if not thousands, if not millions of us, maybe half of disabled Canadians, their rights, their rights don't exist. Why? Let me go on. Let me not go off on a tangent. Brave yeah. Hampton said, hear the battle cry. We must direct action and end to patient suffering. I want everyone to repeat after me until you feel it. I am a revolutionary. I am a revolutionary. I am a revolutionary. 